Well, guys, it finally happened. Only after five days of being here in Cuba, they're kicking us out of our room and uh, upgrading us. Yes. So they saw the, the posts I've been putting up on my social media and YouTube and stuff, and they are like super appreciate uh, the love and support that I'm giving this resort. And uh, they, after the hurricanes, after COVID and all that stuff, they just really appreciate people like me, letting people know how safe it is to come here, how beautiful it is to come here, Cuba, and to the Milia Cayo Coco Resort. And it is one of the best resorts on this island. And the fact that they, the fact that we have a room as beautiful as this, it is such an amazing room. But this is a total room that I don't mind having. Uh, it's very spacious. You know, I've been to Japan and some of the rooms I had to uh, be in in Japan were like this big plus a bed. Uh, but now we're in Cuba. This is the size of the room we had. And now we're going to be upgraded. Do you guys want to see it? Let's go. So Carol just called to have our bags picked up. We're in 7424. Uh, that's the number that we were at. Crazy windy today. Uh, but now we are being moved into a suite. So I'm gonna move my bags out. I don't want the guy to have to come up here and, and bring our bags down. So I'm gonna move them at least down to the stairs. He's gonna pick them up, put them on his trolley. And then we're gonna go over to the suite. Is there, isn't there like a certain suite name that he had? I can't remember it, like, because he said there's a junior suite and then supreme, supreme superior suite. I don't know, but uh, they wanted to upgrade us, so let's go check it out, man. We've already checked it out. Uh, I wanted to make sure everything was happening the way it was going to be happening before we. Uh oh, we got a little log jam happening here. Look at this. It's not. Is it going to work? Yes. Nope. It's not working. He would come up here and pick this up for us, but I don't. I. I I really want to at least help him out. Get my bag downstairs ready for him. You ready? Right. Let's do it. This bag is crazy big, crazy heavy. <clears throat> Love these side handles though. Having to pack twice on your vacation is okay when you're being upgraded. Just waiting on the limo guy. He's not here yet. Guess we'll wait here. Sorry about the wind guys, but uh, this morning we got up, shower shave, went and had breakfast, uh, and I had an uh, omelet, you had an omelet, and then we sat by, oh, sat on the beach for a while, we went for a walk, and then after that, uh, we found a cabana and sat there for a bit. And then you had a massage. It was an hour massage. Mm -hmm. And it's great. Like thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs like what? Up. Should I get one? Yeah. I'll get one. And then, oh, here's our guy. Okay. Oh. Buenas tardes, Buenas tardes, amigos. We got new oh, keys, new keys. Yeah. Should we give them the, the old one? Yeah, please. Yeah. We'll take this off. Take this off. But really, you don't need to take a towel. Give me that. You, you see? Have a clean dirt. Okay. Oh, okay. Big heavy bag. This is your bag, huh? Yeah. Oh. Andre. Andre. <laughs> yeah, just Andre, Andre, Iba. He does, Speedy. I think Daryl said he's in these ones, or those ones. What? I think he said they are now. You excited? Oh, yes. I'm excited. International. And we are in this one right here. See? Oh, nice. Ah, sun. Coming through those clouds, beautiful. Magnifico. This is 
the billiard room and bar. Oh, it's all stocked up. He's ready to go. He's right by our villa. Isn't that a coincidence, honey? I'll take the small one. Let's see. One, one, one. Gracias, senor. Are you guys ready to see what a suite looks like here? Emilia, Cayo Coco, and Carol's giving us the big wave in. Look at this place. Unbelievable. So we did like a little private tour with the manager. And so we've got this little sitting room, surround sound. Got a mini bar, got two bottles of water, We've got extra glasses, coffee, tea. Oh, what's in here, hon? Mm. That's locked. Oh, it's locked. It's probably the electrical. Oh, maybe. Nice, beautiful painting. One of the coolest things about this room is this extra room off to the side here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Which way? Oh, here we go. So, you have these two lounge chairs, table, ashtray for your cigars, and then you have this beautiful room with an outside light. He said, open it up, let the light in, let the sound in. We can watch the sun rise here. We'll be able to see the sunset off to our right, but we are definitely facing east, northeast. Let's open that up. We might get a bit of wind, so be careful. Oh my. Unbelievable. This is Lagoon View. Wow. So each of these pods is two rooms. So there's a bottom room, top room. So we're in the bottom room of us. There's a top room above us. But each of these pods has two um, suites in them. Sorry about the wind. The lobby is right there. Let's go back into the interior. Oh my gosh. This place is unbelievable. Air conditioning, again, TV, surround sound. Over here, we've got the master bedroom. Holy cow, is that not a thing of beauty? Look at this place. Got a little lounging chair, king size bed. Again, a lot of people are always curious about, can you plug in normal stuff here, but it's 220 volts, so you just gotta be careful. There are some certain plugs in certain rooms where it is uh, like a 110 style plug but you just gotta be careful what you plug in. We do have an adapter, and then we put a power bar into the adapter, and then we plug everything else in from there. Another huge television here. Uh, let's see what's inside this thing here. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what was in there at one point. Maybe the mini bar, and then they moved into the other room. I don't know. Luggage area. Another little stand. I guess you could do your postcards on there, write letters to people. I don't know. Oh, this is what we need in the other room. Nice hooks to put your towel on. Another beautiful, oh my goodness, Carol. We're gonna wake up to the sun rise tomorrow. Get an early start. It's good because tomorrow's a busy day. It's gonna be a busy day. All right. Another, another air conditioner. So two air conditioners, long mirror. Huge mirrors here, another mirror there, extra pillows. Wow. Oh, there's robes on. We got an extra blanket, which we needed the other night because um, the air conditioner was on. We couldn't figure out how to turn it down fast enough. So we had a blanket on top. So they gave you that blanket, two extra pillows. And I prefer these square pillows to the super long pillows that they have. That's just the kind of person I am. Safe to put all your valuables, extra stuff, laundry bag if you want it. 
One of the things I just noticed in our other room, there were two umbrellas and I didn't notice, but it's because they're at the back and I hung up all my shirts and I couldn't see them anymore. But uh, that would have been super valuable to know or to at least investigate your whole room, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm saying. We have two robes, lots of hangers to hang up my Hawaiian shirts, iron, ironing board to iron those shirts. Then we've got a whole array of shampoos and soaps and stuff. Hair dryer, I don't need that. Melia Keo Coco. We've got a little mirror there too, another 220. Again, I think one or two of the other places we stayed in, in um, Cuba, they had another plug which had a regular style plug. But and again, it's best just to bring a, an adapter. Oh, we've got two. Oh, the two extra towels are here. Is that, is that what you were saying? So he took our towels for the pool towels, uh, the guy who was driving us. And we also have slippers, more towels, trash can, and check out this bathroom. Is that not phenomenal or what? We've got our regular toilet, bidet. They like conserving water. So you have your number one, your number two, soap dispenser, or maybe an extra uh, toilet paper. I'm guessing you could do that, or if you want to put soap there, maybe it's for the bidet kind of situation. And you've got a telephone just in case. You got some hangers. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, Milie Keo Coco. I think it's Kayo Coco. As I'm learning, the sun is going down over there. We could open this window if you want some fresh air while you're showering. And this beautiful shower. We've got the rain faucet. We've got the wand. And then your controls over here. Some soap. This is an actual beautiful, beautiful suite. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice this. A curtain to separate yourself from the main room. Just another added touch to make the room look nice. Let us know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this upgraded superior suite? Again, I know what the, the, there's junior suites, which are the ones that are over there. Um, they're the blue ones. So I think those are junior suites over there. And then these are, let's call them the senior suites. And uh, they are a definite beautiful upgrade. And I am extremely happy <laughs> to be a part of helping Milia Keokoko get people to come back here because this is definitely one of the best resorts on the island of Cuba. I don't know why they put just the sheer one here. Right. You have to like always grab from that side. Is the whole thing open? Yeah. Was the whole thing? I what, like the whole my my yeah. brain was thinking the whole thing's glass, mm -hmm. and I'm like, we're looking for the sliding glass door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things I thought was this window was a sliding glass door, but it's not. So the thing is off to the right. You can grab this. I wonder if you could tie that back. That would be great. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to lounge out here. Carol's already opened the door. Let the breeze come in. That beautiful Cuban Caribbean breeze. What do you think, hon? You super happy or what? Ah.